Hello techies! Welcome to our brand new video series focused on helping you get the most of your experiences in life. Before we start the video, let's know about Uptalk. Uptalk is a live, interactive platform for software training, furnishing robust personalities who could take on universal business platforms. So now let's quickly create a calculated field, that is, an extract, single instance. First is ESI. Then we will use the ESI to extract the related value. Okay, so. Create calculated field. Okay. And there we will give the name Kweepy. Right. LDES dependent. This is what we are going to calculate. What is the business object? Is it worker or dependent? What is the business object? It will be the dependent. Are we storing the calculated field? The dependent business object already has this information. Right. I do not want it there. I want this information. I want to bring over this information from the dependent to the worker business object. Isn't it? So where should I store my new calculated field? Then the worker, worker. Right. It is already this information. The LDAS dependent information is already present in the dependent business object. Right. I want to bring it over to the worker business object so that I am able to do a filter and so on. That is why I need to store this calculated field in the worker business object. And what is my function? Function is ESI. Right. If you search with ESI, it will be able to find it. Extract single instance. Okay. Now here, what is my source field? The source field is dependent. Right. It is a multi-instance field. I have to always choose a multi-instance field and you see, automatically it says what is the relative business object. Did you see? It automatically picked up the related business object. Correct. Now, I just don't want all the dependents. I want to pick up one particular dependent. Extract single instance. I want a single instance of this object. So what should be my condition? First, let's go for all. All dependents. Right. Is true. So if dependent is present, yes. Is true meaning that returns a boolean true value. It won't deliver. It's always equal to true. So that means, if the dependent is true, then you are going to sort. Sort on the basis of what? We said age. Are you kidding me? Right. Yes, Shweta. Shweta, you want to say something? No. Okay. Yeah, maybe it was unmuted by mistake. No problem. Okay, 
So we are sorting the dependents using the age. And then you have then two options. You can sort ascending smallest to largest. Or you can sort descending largest to smallest. And then, depending on the sort, you can also select the first occurrence, last occurrence, or any specific occurrence. So what are we looking for? We are looking for the L list. So should we be sorting ascending or descending? Which one do you think is easier? Mohan said, yes, 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 Shweta go ahead, sorry. In this case, we are doing descending. Descending, and then the first occurrence. The first occurrence. Right, it makes sense. You sorted descending and take the first occurrence. Now, this option is always better if you are doing with other type of data as well. Descending sort and first occurrence should be your first preference. The ascending and last occurrence. Okay, it is not good for performance. Try to avoid it. Ascending and last should be avoided. Okay, sorting and last occurrence is not the recommended approach. It is still there because in some cases you might require it. But most of the cases you should go for descending sort, first occurrence. That is again linked to performance. So if I click on OK, so you are looking at all your dependents, right? All your dependents, and you are sorting on the basis of the age. What if, instead of L list dependent, I asked you, L list child or L list dependent child? Then what would you have done? I have added one more criteria now. I don't want spouses or parents or partners or something. I only want the age of the eldest dependent child. You want me to do this? Right. You want me to create this calculated field? Okay, let's take up this challenge then. So what can we change here in this calculated field? What can we change to get the child eldest child? Let me edit this. Think about it. Let's say L list dependent child is what we are looking for. We have to sort by age. We have to go descending sort and the first occurrence. We are looking at dependents because we are looking at a dependent child. So what can we change? I think we can go with additional. We will change the condition. As of now, what is the condition? It says it's true. That means that there is a dependent sort, it's sort descending, and get the first occurrence. So now we have no way to distinguish between a spouse versus a child. So what if we only filter in the condition, we only filter the children? Isn't it? Then that would work. So let's go to create calculated field, and let's do it like this. 
if ww if is true or false because it is a conditional field and we are going to say what we are going to say that relationship is child dependent dependent relationship is child so now we have a conundrum what do we do what is the business object should we store this in the dependent business object please do like share and subscribe to our channel for more information contact us at sales at the rate